Hello Taurus. Welcome to my channel. This is Renee. And excuse my voice. My voice is a little nasally. Yeah, I apologize. This reading, Taurus, is going to be all about your next big romance. We're going to take a look at your current energy. We're going to take a look at your person's current energy. And then uh, we're going to go into some characteristics about your person. Um, we're going to take a look at where this relationship is going and also um, take some advice on this relationship. Okay, Taurus, what is your current relationship? Well, what is your current feelings towards this relationship? This may be someone that you haven't met yet. So if this doesn't resonate, no worries. Now you can also take a look at your sun, moon, and rising signs if you know those. Okay, we have step out of your comfort zone and try something new. So you're in the mood to do new things, Taurus. Let's get another card for your energy. We have earth pulsing, pulse of the mother, slow down time in nature. So you may want to ground yourself, Taurus. You may want to feel more grounded. Find your your sweet spots. You know. Um, step out of your comfort zone. Do something that you haven't done before. Um, kind of take action on some kind of thing. If this person hasn't come into your life yet, um, stepping out of your comfort zone, trying something new, that may be the venue where you find this person, you know? Spirit may be leading you to do new things in order to bring this new relationship about. What kind of energy? we have for your person who is this person what are they feeling about love it's up to you so this person is really kind of easy going they're easy going they're easy to get along with they're kind of trying to match your energy and this is all going to happen in perfect timing so if this hasn't happened yet, if you're not with your uh, romance, this romance is coming about. This is happening in its perfect divine time. Okay. And we have, these are such beautiful cards. I love these cards. Uh, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Definitely. And by stepping out of your comfort zone, your those possibilities may be coming in. They may, may be more apparent. You may be more aware of these possibilities, you know? Very interesting. Okay. We have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So that's another card of it's up to you. You know, it's up to you where you want this interaction to go. Um, Spirit's kind of 
letting you take the lead on this one. You know, um, if you're ready for love, if you are open and receptive to receiving it, you know, and we always get so many cards for the other side. I don't know why that is. Okay. We have the wings. Beautiful. Okay. Now for this person, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So yeah, I feel like this, this person, they, they have opportunities. They, the possibilities are open to them. You know, they just have to take faith and follow the lead. They may be manifesting you and you, you know, don't even realize it. We have twin flame, your passion ignites. So this person may be looking for the twin flame. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. That's all perfect timing. That's all in perfect timing. Spirit is letting them know. You know, don't rush. Wait. Let things flow in their perfect timing. And we also have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So, yeah, I feel like this person is definitely manifesting you. They're definitely manifesting a twin flame situation. They're, they're hoping, dreaming, praying that they're going to meet someone who's going to, you know, light their fire, lift their passion, and, you know, um, bring about something that can be very life-changing. I feel like this person is definitely manifesting you. So you may actually meet this person if you haven't already by stepping out of your comfort zone. It's letting you know to be one with nature. Go into nature. So you may meet this person while you're hiking in the park or you know, going on some kind of mini adventure um, that puts you in a, a nature environment. So you definitely may meet this person doing some sort of outside activity. Something to do with nature. But it's getting out of your comfort zone, Taurus. Getting out of your comfort zone and putting you into the possibilities of new adventure, new journey, you know, that's where your possibilities are going to lie. Okay, Spirit, tell me about this person. What characteristics does this person have? Tell me about this person. What is this person like? The King of Wands, fire, desire, passion, being bold. This person is driven. They're assertive. <clears throat> they also may be very charming and funny, outgoing. This person is very, they may be very social. The Ace of Wands, wow. So this person is very inspiring. They may do something that inspires others. They, they also may be very creative. Um, they may be into the arts or some kind of passion that, you know, ignites their inspiration. 
but this person is very inspirational. I feel like they're very outgoing. They're very social. Um, very good energy so far. We have the Seven of Swords. So, Taurus, I feel like this person may be a little secretive. Um, they, they may not give you all of the information up front. You may have to get to know this person before they really release any information to you. They may be a very private person. They may be holding back um, information. This person, you know, they may also be someone who may be a little dishonest at times. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. Taurus. So this is someone who really does, I feel like this is someone who has a lot of creative ideas and maybe they juggle those ideas frequently. I feel like this is a person who may um, start a project but not finish it right away. They'll move on to the next big project that's on their mind. Um, and I feel like they have several different things going on. This person is very active. They're very into whatever it is that they do. I feel like they're they're really juggling a lot of responsibility, a lot of priorities. This person may be very busy. You now we have the Justice card. This may be a Libra. Maybe a Libra that you're dealing with, Taurus. I feel like this person. <clears throat> This person really knows how to get the job done and they may be looking for balance, tipping the scales in some way. I, I really feel tipping the scales. I feel like they're going through a lot of changes though. We have the Hierophants. So this person really enjoys learning. They enjoy reading books. I feel like this person is very intelligent, very charming, very fearless. Um, but they have a lot of knowledge. This person may be really into a lot of meditation books at the moment. Uh, they may be reading about spirituality or um, learning about chakras. But I feel like this person is very spiritual. They enjoy learning. They enjoy reading books. We have the Three of Cups. Yes, yeah, so, so this person likes to be around people. They, they enjoy social interaction. They're a very social person. They may have a lot of friends. They may, you know, speak to their friends very often. They may have a high communication with their friends. The Ten of Swords. Okay, Taurus, this is someone who's left something. Something ended for this person. There was a, a really big ending for this person, and it may have put a lot of weight on their heart. But I feel like whatever that was, they're, they're working through that. And they're working on themselves. I feel like they're putting a lot of time into themselves. I feel like that's the reason why they're um, reading books. I, that's why they're so spiritual. They're so 
into being grounded. Maybe they're reading manifestation books, but I really feel like they're reading like uh, how to align your chakras or uh, learning more about the spiritual side of themselves. Whatever this ending was, it was really intense and it kind of put them into fix me mode. I need to fix me. So I, I feel like that's what they're doing. They're working on themselves. And then the Knight of Pentacles, okay. So this person may have a really good job. They may be very outgoing. Um, this is definitely a person who's reliable, a person who works very hard, a person who has a lot of patience, who knows how to take their time, who's not worried about something coming through really fast. They want to take their time and do it right. You know, that they, they want everything to work out the way it is supposed to. Um, and that's what I'm feeling about this person, Taurus. I, I feel like this is, this person has a really good soul. This person is likely very generous, very giving, very caring. They, they're constantly trying to find balance. So I feel like... This person um, is one who apologizes quickly and takes responsibility for whatever they're doing. You know, um, I definitely feel like this person has a good heart and that may be the reason why they got hurt so badly because I feel like this was, this was devastating for this person this Ten of Swords. This was devastating for them. They're, they kind of didn't know where to go from there. And I feel like this person is setting boundaries. They're, they're making decisions on how they really want things to be. And they're setting the boundaries. When you meet this person, they may have set boundaries that you kind of have to have patience with. Okay, I can't be your friend. I need more. So, Taurus, this may be someone you already know, but I feel like this situation is... Because this person wants to take things slow, I feel like this person is letting you know, Taurus, you know, um, I'm in this, but I can't just be your friend. I need more than that. So if you're not ready for something more, Taurus, then we just need to part ways. I, I feel like this person wants to be more than your friend. They're looking for a twin flame. They're looking for a everlasting love. And like I said, they want to move slow. This person, they're, they are okay with waiting. They have a lot of patience. They don't want to rush into a situation, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Taurus. Okay, so this may, they may contact you for little situations. A booty call. I feel like you're texting all the time. And I feel like this person is kind of, I feel like that's the way of opening up. I need to be honest. So yeah, I feel like this goes with the Seven of Swords. I feel like this person, and I feel like sometimes they're they're not very honest. So I feel like they they're they become very comfortable with you, and they. I dropped some cards. Just a moment. They understand 
they, in order for this to grow, they need to be honest with you. So I, I feel like they become comfortable enough to show you that side that they really don't show a whole lot of people. But this is definitely a new beginning, Taurus. This person is looking for a new beginning after all this heartbreak. And this person finds you a mystery. This person looks at you like you're a mystery. I can't figure out what you want, you know? That they're just wanting you to take the lead a little bit. They're wanting you to pursue this beginning. This is just the beginning. So th this person is very much looking for a new beginning in this situation. They want something to happen, Taurus. They want something long term, but they want to take it slow. They want it to grow naturally and evolve into this love relationship that I feel like you both are manifesting. But they're willing to take it slow. They're willing for it to come about in perfect timing. But I feel like, you know, you still both have needs. You still both have needs. So I, I feel like at times, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna make that choice to Okay, it's that time, you know, let's let's get it on. But yeah, I, I really feel like this person overall is a really good person. I kind of like this. I feel the fire in this person. They're very ambitious, but they're very balanced as well. Tell me more about this, this interaction. Tell me more about this love situation. Where is this love situation going? Where is this situation going with Taurus and this person? Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, this is going to be a huge change. This is definitely a new beginning for you and this person, Taurus. Definitely a new beginning. But it's not going to be without its challenges. There are going to be some challenges along the way. You may have to figure out how to work with him or her, and they may have to figure out how to work with you. Like I said, they're already asking, I can't figure out what you want. You know, I feel like that's a challenge that you're going to have to overcome. That's a, a challenge that both of you are going to face. But I feel like you you and this person are willing to carry that challenge. You're willing to take it on. You're willing to defeat it. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be a team. You're gonna work together. This is a union. This is going to start out as change and like i said you're going to have challenges but you're going to defeat those challenges you're going to come out a partner a, this is going to be a partnership for you and this person i feel like you're going to be a very good team when you're working together the king of cups yeah, this is going to be a very thoughtful, a very loving, a very giving relationship. This person is going to be very supportive of you and your needs. They're going to be very supportive, very nurturing. They also may be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person is is going to be very supportive and this is going to work out to be a wish fulfillment for you and this person this is a wish fulfillment this is your your love being manifested this is it coming into fruition this is it all working out for the best 
you know, you also have the um, the magician on the bottom. So I feel like this is something that's being created. And it's something that's going to take time to create, to be manifested. But I feel like in the end, you're going to have a lot of love for this person. This person is going to make you a lot of happiness. Um, you're going to have a lot of dreams come through through this person um, a lot of things that you've been hoping for praying for are coming into this relationship they're all manifesting here in this relationship very beautiful energy let's see where this tell me more about this passion tell me more about this passion spirit Tell me more about this person who's dealing with Taurus. Yeah, this person has been heartbroken. They've been deeply hurt. They just went through a separation or a breakup. And they're feeling kind of lost, but I feel like they're recovering from it. Uh, they may have lost someone who's very special to them, and they're grieving in some way. So that's the reason why this person is, is really working on themselves. That's why they are really trying to be grounded, really trying to be focused on their healing, on where they want to be next in life. That's the reason why they're setting boundaries. That's the reason why they want to take things slow, because I feel like this person has been badly hurt in, um, in the past. And I feel like it was the very near past. So they may not be totally ready to move on so quickly, you know. They want to take things slow and, and have healing, have closure. Tell me more about Taurus. What is Taurus's feelings about the situation? The boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. Okay, so I, I feel like this situation, you're moving into this, like the Six of Swords energies, you're moving into this calmer energy, which is bringing a good flow. Beautiful, Taurus. Tell me about this love situation. Where is this love situation going? What are the combined feelings about this interaction? Date. Meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. So yeah, I feel like you're gonna you're gonna have a long dating experience. Like I said, because this person wants to wait, because this person wants to take their time, you're gonna be dating for quite a while to get to know each other. You're gonna be exploring, experimenting, getting to know one another on a deeper level. So I feel like when it comes to this person, um, you're going to be dating for quite a while before any um, set in stone plans are made, you know, before you move in with each other, before you exchange rings or, you know, before this person um, really makes a logical decision to be a united couple you know um but i feel like once this partnership is started it's going to be very beautiful but it's going to take time taurus it's going to take time you're going to get to know each other first you're going to move from the friend zone into the love zone you know and i feel like that's where this relationship is going okay so taurus that is what we have for you. Um, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And um, if this doesn't resonate, take a look at your sun, moon, or rising sign, if you know that. Well, this is likely your sun sign, but take a look at your moon or rising sign. Um, that may clarify a little bit more. It may resonate a little bit more. Okay, and Taurus, have a wonderful new year and 
Many blessings to you. See you on the next reading. Love and light.